How's it going everybody? So in this video, I'm going to be talking about why I uh, don't really take Makuna right now, and I haven't taken Makuna for a while. So, um, if you've been following me for a while, you know that there was a couple months where I was uh, taking Makuna, specifically the uh, Dopa Makuna Extract by Now Foods. And um, in the first month, I found that the Makuna drastically increased my motivation drastically increase, increase my mood and made me feel great. Um, helped me uh, dedicate myself and focus and concentrate. Helped me become more productive. It made me just feel so good. Like it strongly boosted my well-being. Especially when you stack it with uh, cacao powder. Especially if you stack it, if you stack both of those with a ketogenic diet. Now, um, the real benefit that I started to notice was I think it started to increase my um, androgenic hormones. Now, I'm not sure if it was testosterone or what. Some people claim it's growth hormone. Others claim it's testosterone. Um, but I can tell you one thing. when Anytime you boost dopamine, especially with something as strong as Makuna, where all these people are like scared of being addicted to it like meth, you're going to lower prolactin. And prolactin is the main antagonist neurotransmitter or hormone that is responsible for lowering um, androgens and lowering dopamine, especially after orgasm. Prolactin is something that um, you'll have if you're a chronic ejaculator or if you're addicted to masturbation or something like that. And it's typically what's responsible for people feeling apathetic and depressed and low mood and people who feel low motivation when they're uh, chronically ejaculating. Okay, this, this is uh, the scientific mechanism behind why no fat makes people more motivated, makes them feel better. It's because they're not releasing prolactin nearly as much. And uh, Makuna is kind of like a hack that allows you to lower prolactin without doing all the, the work uh, through no fat. Interestingly enough, I noticed a drastic decrease in, um, or a drastic increase in my impulse control over time. I was able to just say no to um, whatever urges I might have had. Okay. Anyway, um, I noticed a drastic increase in my strength and my exercise performance and uh, my ability to recover from exercise. Now, I'm still trying to determine if that was Makuna or not, but I do feel like it definitely resulted in better performance and recovery. And a lot of people have said the same thing. The people that actually take it properly and aren't all like noceboing themselves out of benefits, that aren't scared of it and whatnot. I definitely noticed a drastic increase in libido after taking it. Um, and there are studies that show, obviously, men with low testosterone can boost it using this. And then also, uh, increase in sperm quality. So, um, so, here's the thing, though. So, lots of benefits. The thing is, though, I noticed... Um, like the first time I noticed nothing but benefits, but the second time I took around for about a month or so, I started to notice I was a bit more irritated than usual. Um, I was more aggressive than usual and um, a little bit more obsessive than usual. So for example, if someone gave me the opportunity to argue about um, the ketogenic diet or something, I would take it every time and it would bug the hell out of me. This could have been something else though. It could have been other things. That's really the problem with anecdotes is, uh, you know, controlling for other confounding factors, but, and scientific studies is the same thing. Still gotta uh, look at the authors and what confounding variables they didn't test for. Anyway, it could be anything, but uh, I definitely noticed an increase in aggression and anger and these types of things and uh, just annoyance and feeling bothered so so overall just be being on the lookout for that is a good idea 
And then I think it took me about three to seven days after taking Makuna uh, to get my brain back to where it was before, where I wasn't uh, irritated and whatnot. Um, so, yeah, are there, are there withdrawals? I mean, if there are, I didn't really recognize them as like extremely out of the ordinary or something like that. Because a lot of people, they uh, claim, oh, there's these withdrawals and I start to like hallucinate. I don't know how the fuck that happens with them. Uh, you know, people say specifically about taking this ax track, they have that problem. I mean, and usually they're not even taking an effective dose. Uh, I never had that problem. Uh, most I had was maybe a little bit of tiredness, maybe uh, some increased irritability or something, you know. But after a week of taking it, like, if you're still having problems, it's definitely not in the Makuna. There's people who claim, like, oh yeah, my brain was fucked for months, like, and they're only taking, a, like, an average dose. You know, I took it for three months, taking uh, uh, triple the dose that was recommended, like up to six six capsules. I didn't have no problems like that. So, yeah. I think a lot of people do kind of like nocebo themselves, but maybe at the same time, you know, it affects different people differently, right? So, um... I think Makuna is great uh, to try for like a month or so, uh, particularly at higher dosages. Like I notice the irritability and stuff happened when I was taking a low dose, just like, you know, two capsules of the Makuna Dopa extract. But when I was taking, you know, two to three servings of that, you know, one in the morning, one in the evening, and then one before bed, oh my God, I was like Superman. Um, so if you're gonna take it, take a, a high dose is what I would say. But talk to your doctors before you do that. Do your own research. Um, but you know, as far as I'm concerned, um, following a a well formulated ketogenic diet and really paying attention to your sodium and potassium. Uh, like, that's relieved pretty much any need for supplements, uh, in my life at least. But, you can still enhance your life using uh, herbs and supplements. Sorry, I just got done with a hardcore run, so. Alright, you guys, so that's really all I got to say right now. Um, leave your questions in the comments down below, and I'll talk to you in my next video.